hey guys welcome to another video in this one we are going to compare flat beams versus t beams both are beam and block technologies and we are going to compare the two we're going to talk about the cost the method of installation and which is the better option for you so i'll be presenting you with five similarities and four differences between the two technologies i'm nick Muema from property noma and let's get started with the similarities between T-beams and flat beams. The first similarity is that they are both precast concrete materials. Precast concrete is a concept where the materials needed to make both the T-beams and flat beams are prepared at a specialized factory. Instead of making the beams yourself, which you can't by the way, you buy them ready-made and transport them to your site. The second similarity is the use of concrete hollow blocks. These are hydraulically compressed using a specialized machine. At the same time, the hydraulic compressor creates hollow sections within the blocks. These hollow sections allow for plumbing and electrical conduits to pass through. They also reduce the dead weight of the blocks. Those hollow sections, by the way, also act as noise breakers, which helps in the regulation of noise. The blocks are placed in between the beams, usually 400 millimeters apart, to plug in the gaps between the beams. This leads me to the third similarity. They both offer an immediate working surface. After installing the beams and blocks, you get a working surface that gives you an impression of how your slab will look like. With the conventional method, you need to hire steel trappers and below them, you need to have timber props to support them. Once the steel trappers are securely held in place on top of the timber props, that's when you achieve a working surface on your slab, and that takes a while. But with beam and block technology, you don't need to hire steel trappers. And with T-beams specifically, you don't need to buy timber props, as they are designed to be self-supporting. The fourth similarity is the addition of a shallow concrete topping. Beam and block tech helps you save on the volume of concrete to pour. For both T-beams and flat beams, the recommended minimum concrete topping is between 50 to 75 millimeters. Compare this to the conventional slab where concrete is poured to depths ranging from 150 to 250 millimeters, depending on the design of the slab. In addition, the use of the BRC mesh when pouring the concrete is a major cost-saving feature of beam and blocks. Because both the T-beams and flat beams are pre-stressed to a high degree, you don't need to use reinforcement bars on your slab. The only place where rebars are used are inside the ring beams that will support the T or flat beams. Using the BRC mesh is cheaper than using rebars on your slab. The recommended BRC mesh to use is BRC A142. The fifth similarity is placing the beams on the shorter span of a room. For example, if a room measures 4 meters by 2.5 meters, both the T and flat beams are placed spanning on the 2.5 meter side of the room. The recommended maximum span with beam and blocks is 6 meters. So if your rooms are smaller than 6 meters, then beam and blocks is an appropriate technology for your project. The first difference is the strength of the beams. T-beams are made of concrete class 60, which is a high strength concrete class. Inside the T-beams, you'll find four pre-stressed steel tendons, which have a high degree of tensile strength. T-beams come in different dimensions of depth. For standard slabs, like your house for example, you'll most likely use the 150mm deep T-beam. There's a 225mm deep T-beam that is used in heavy-duty applications like industrial projects or where longer slab spans are needed. There's also a 250mm deep T-beam used to make suspended foundation slabs. Flat beams, on the other hand, are made of concrete class 30, and have six pre-stressed steel tendons inside, usually five millimeters in diameter. So in terms of strength, T-beams are stronger than flat beams. 
The second difference comes in insulation of the beams. With T-beams, the ring beams of your house must already be casted and cured before placing the T-beams. T-beams are very heavy, and since they're designed to be self-supporting, they span from one ring beam of a room to the next one. The first T-beam is placed 400 millimeters away from the ring beam. Next, the hollow blocks are installed, sitting between the chamfered edge of the T-beam and the top of the ring beam. Then the process continues as the T-beams are placed along the shorter span of a room and the blocks placed in between them. Flat beams are installed differently. Here, the major difference is that you don't cast and cure the ring beams beforehand, unlike with T-beams. Instead, the flat beams are embedded inside the ring beams in between the reinforcement bars. The flat beams must lie inside the middle of the ring beams to be firmly held in place by the concrete that will be poured later. The flat beams are separated 400 millimeters away from each other, which is the exact space required to fit in the concrete hollow blocks. Once all the flat beams and blocks are placed correctly, concrete is poured to the required depth, including the ring beams. The third difference is timber supports. Flat beams require timber props for their support. Three by two inch timber is normally used supported on long poles of cypress. The three by twos are usually spaced one meter apart from each other, but this depends on your project. The timber supports are left in place for at least 21 days before they are removed as the concrete slab cures and gains in strength. T-beams don't require any timber supports in the middle. They are designed to be supported by the ring beams of your house. They span from one ring beam to the other ring beam. This is an added advantage as it leaves the space underneath unoccupied by timber props. Finishing works can start inside the rooms as the slab cures and gains its strength with time. For example, this house used T-beams and blocks for the flat roof balcony. The finishing works continued seamlessly underneath as there were no timber props getting in the way. The fourth difference is speed of installation. T-beams are faster to install than flat beams. Once you cast and cure the columns and ring beams of your house, installing the T-beams is straightforward. With flat beams, the timber support framework must be erected first before placing the flat beams. There's also the time that it takes to ensure that the flat beams lie in the middle of the ring beams properly. All in all, T-beams are quicker to install than flat beams. For example, this house's slab was done in two days. The first day was installing the T-beams and blocks, and on the next day, 75 millimeter thick concrete topping was poured. Let's talk about the difference of cost between T-beams and flat beams. Starting with flat beams, the cost per square meter ranges from 2,300 to 2,600 shillings per square meter, depending on the company you buy them from. This includes the cost of the flat beams and blocks per square meter, but it excludes the cost of transport and labor. Roughly speaking though, if we include the cost of transport and labor per square meter, expect anything above 3,000 shillings per square meter with flat beams and blocks. As for T-beams on the other hand, the cost of T-beams and blocks alone is between 3,200 to 3,600 shillings per square meter. This excludes the cost of transport and labor per square meter. But I know you love estimation, so for estimation purposes, if we include uh, transport and labor costs, expect anything above a cost of 4,200 shillings per square meter for a T-beam and block slab. In Kenya, you can get flat beams and blocks from beam tech manufacturers, Promax Kenya, and Motherland Concrete and Logistics. You can buy T-beams and blocks from Echo Concrete, Motherland Concrete and Logistics, and Floor Deco Kenya. I've mentioned these companies because a lot of you in the audience ask me where to get beam and blocks for your project. 
but as a disclaimer, none of these companies have sponsored this video. In my opinion, the better option between the two technologies is the inverted T-beams. That's because they are way stronger than flat beams and they don't need timber supports to support them when they're being installed. That said, the more affordable option is the flat beams. If you're on a budget and would like to build a concrete slab, then go for flat beams. All in all, beam and block technology is relatively new in Kenya and it's rapidly gaining pace. So with this video, I hope you're more knowledgeable and I hope it will help you in your decision making as you're planning to build your concrete slabs. With that, thank you for watching this video. Stay safe and I wish you success on your project.